Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on exponential equations. There are two ways to solving exponential equations. Logarithm is one way, and then the, the other one is what I call fit in. Okay. The rule of thumb is if the numbers at all have any relation with each other, you want to try to fit in, and we'll explain what fit in is. If they don't, however, then you use logarithm. Okay, so let's take a look at number one. Four and eight are related in that four is two squared and eight is two cubed. So we're going to use, use fit in, and then here's how we're going to use it, equal to eight. We're going to rewrite 4 into 2 squared. Okay, this whole thing is still 8x minus 1. And then here is 2 to the third. When the exponentials look like they're about to multiply, multiply them. So 8x minus 1 and equal to 3 because the base is the same. Okay, so we'll translate an exponential equation into a single linear equation, which is pretty easy to solve. Hopefully I won't make any mistakes over here. So I have 8x minus 1 equal to 3 over 2. And then 8x minus equal to 3 over 2 plus 1. You probably want to do over 5. If you wanted to just open them up and do the other way as well, that's no difference. So anyway, x equal to 5 over 16. Okay, so that's the answer. Let's take a look at second one. Now before we do that, let's have a math break. A student has sent a funny picture here. You see those two dudes are battling each other and they're about to fall into a coffee mug. If you two have a funny picture for a math break, send it in. Alright, back to math. Second equation, we have a 3, 2x minus 5 is equal to 1 over 27 to the x. Again, 27 and 3 are related in that 3 cube is equal to 27. 3 minus 3 is 1 over 3 to the 3, or 1 over 27. Hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. So 3, 2x minus 5, not changed, is equal to, let's change this one a little bit. I'll write a couple steps over here. This whole thing to the x. Now, this whole thing to the x is really 1 to the x, 27 to the x. 1 to the x is still equal to 1. I recovered 27 to the x on the bottom. Okay. And the reason I want to do that is I'm trying to fit in. I'm trying to get 1 over 27 equal to 3 minus 3, the whole thing to the x. Now, remember earlier I said if the exponentials look like they're about to multiply, multiply them. So we have 2x minus 5 equal to minus 3 times x. 5x equal to 5 and x equal to 1. Okay. That's the solution for the second one. Well, that's how we handle exponential equations for this type. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.